Hi gang, this is Mike G from Mr G TV and MrMikeGarner.com on the 7th of July 2023. And let me ask you a very, very important question. What do you do when you're not well? And from my perspective, a healer, a hypnotherapist, a clinical psychologist, what do I do when I'm not well, when I'm preaching and teaching wellness? Well, it's the 7th of July and I promised everybody in the Mr. GTV Facebook community and on YouTube that from the 1st of July I'd be starting a new programme. We've had the group for over 18 months and we're going from strength to strength and it's a powerful community doing a lot of good works. But I wanted to reinvent it and step up a notch. But my health has gone down a notch. What's actually happened to me is I'm quite a hairy guy and I've got a hair follicle on my back, too much information which has got infected and ingrowing hair and it's turned into an abscess and it went from a little pea size to a marble to a ping pong ball a table tennis ball to a tennis ball it's got this big lump on my back full of infection quite nasty not pleasant at all and um, I've had to go and get it lanced and drained which is a daily thing it's rather disgusting as I say, too much information. And it's made me look at maybe what created that. Why have I got an infection when I'm a pretty fit, healthy guy? And I'm not a fitness fanatic, but I preach and teach that your mindset, your psychology changes your biology. So the question was, what do you do when you're not well? And what does a healer do when they're not well? And the answer is, basics when you're not well your life becomes hell and to become well you've got to create ease so that you don't have a dis-ease and you've got to raise your vibration and the way that you do that is to go back into basics breathing techniques eating well sleeping well smiling laughing having an easy life being pleased and eased and doing things that raise your vibrations so that you actually create positive cells in your body and you get rid of all stress and tension and chaos in your body. It's chaos in your body that creates distortions in your cellular memory, blocks energy flow so that you get an imbalance in your chakras. It's all metaphysical based on mindset that your psychology changes your physiology, changes your biology. So when I realised that I was getting run down, becoming low and slow, brain fog, and I was showing symptoms, I realised that those symptoms are the effect and the cause is stresses in my life and in my mindset. And I have got a lot going on and a lot of it is positive. It's positive success and stress. And I thrive on being motivated and driven. But when you start to get physical symptoms, those physical symptoms are clues to tell you that you're doing something wrong or thinking something wrong. When you're ill and you've got dis-ease, you're not at ease and your body goes into chaos and your wellness levels go down and your energy goes down, it means that you're thinking something wrong or you're doing something wrong or you're engaging in something wrong. And you've got to look at that. So I've decided that my plan to the world to reinvent Mr. GTV from the 1st of July had to be put on hold because the most important person is me on Mr. GTV, otherwise there's no Mr. GTV. And the most important person in your life and your family and your work is you. If you don't look after yourself, you can't do anything. So therefore you can't help anybody. So help yourself first. It's rather like you're in an aeroplane that's about to crash. And they tell you to put your own oxygen mask on first and assist your children and your, um, your loved ones. Help yourself, then you can help them. If you don't help yourself, you can't help them. If you can't look after yourself, you can't look after anybody else. If you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. So look after yourself first. So I am looking after myself first, and then I'll get back to you guys when I've got my energy levels back up. And this is a great warning and a great lesson for everybody. It's very easy either to get down in the dumps because things are going to shit, or it might be that you're involved in a shift and again, you're so busy enjoying your success, enjoying your life, 
manifesting everything through the law of attraction that you forget to go back to the basics which is breathing exercises healing exercises positive thinking positive exercises positive conversations time management self management good nutrition and all those things that made you a success in the first place that when sometimes you get to that point of success or maybe your life goes down the toilet that you forget the basics do not forget the basics those are important be powerful enjoy your mind get well so that your life doesn't become like a living hell i'm going to do that and uh, i'll speak to you all soon everything that i promise will happen give me four to five days to go through this hospital treatment so i'm going daily now until maybe uh, july the 12th and then they'll decide whether or not they're going to do another surgery i've had two operations already oh good and uh, fantastic experience it's what life's about these experiences and i wanted to teach from my life experience god bless